over the Elliott Museum. Hey, welcome to Car Show Television. I'm Andrew McClary, and I'm here with John Giltanan, who's the associate curator of the Elliott Museum here in Stewart. Uh, he is going to take us around and show us some of the fabulous cars we've got here and this incredible system they've got for actually storing and retrieving the cars. It's kind of like a matchbox car system where they've got up to 50 cars in here that they can retrieve pretty much at will and then bring them up onto this uh, wonderful turntable we're standing on here with the, under the lights so the people outside can actually see the car. So stay tuned for more. This is a mechanized car storage system that holds up to 55 vehicles. Right now we have 47 cars in here on three tiers. It's controlled by a robot and we can call any car down and bring it up and put it on the turntable behind me for display purposes. So we have docents here who take requests from people and uh, and we can, we can show them whatever car they want to see. Uh, it gives us great flexibility. We can, we can um, house a lot more cars in the available space by using a system like this. It's designed and installed by a company called Boomerang Systems out of Provo, Utah. Mostly they do systems similar to this for parking garages in large congested cities like New York or Miami. This is representative of a UPS truck from the 1930s. I'm not certain if this was really a UPS truck or not, but it's called a C-cab for the uh, unique shape of the, the cutout in the driver's, in the, in the door. But UPS dates, goes way back, and the, the brown uh, livery with the gold lettering is has been their, their look for decades and I didn't know that either until we got this truck and I started reading about it. Mr. Stutz was an, was an engineer and was involved with, um, with racing at Indianapolis and started this company they called it I think the car that was made in a day because of the um, the success that they had, had racing his engines and uh, they were they were always considered um, very well engineered very fine cars it was it was the first company to put hydraulic brakes on a car this car is older restoration, but it's in very nice condition. It has, has a little patina to it, but it was, it was, uh, runs and drives. It... Got a 1931 Model AA fire truck, which runs and drives. Um, you have a, a mail delivery truck, a milk truck that's designed to be driven from a standing position. These vehicles, you know, they just weren't saved. Uh, 
so they're they're quite rare. The 1904 Indian was given to Mr. Harmon Elliott by the president of the Indian Motorcycle Company, and uh, Mr. Elliott used it to ride to school on when he was a young man. It stayed in the family, and he put it in the museum when it was uh, established in 1961. at here is a 1920 Hudson Super 6 limousine. This is a custom bodied car. It has a division window, a full leather interior to the chauffeur's compartment, and, and a, a wool brocade interior in the passenger compartment. This car was originally owned by the uh, famous opera singer Enrico Caruso. So it's a very, very uh, special car to the collection. It's in beautiful restoration and we're really thrilled to have it here. I think it's one of the most elegant um, uh, cars of this era I've ever seen. This is a 1925 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. It was made in Springfield, Massachusetts. Many people are not aware of the fact that Rolls-Royce made cars in this country. The gentleman who donated this car to the museum, Mr. Presley Blake, grew up in Springfield, Massachusetts and tells us that he can remember as a child seeing the Rolls-Royce test drivers driving these chassis around the town and he always wanted one of these cars. He bought this car in about 1955. Uh, at the time it was a chassis only. He had to find a correct body for it and restore it. He took it to the Rolls-Royce Owners Association National Meet in 1957 and won Best of Show with it. was uh, this is probably the the rarest car in the collection it's a 1953 Cunningham C3 Cabriolet brainchild of Briggs Cunningham he was a race car driver and he was also um, a uh, yachtsman and had been in Le Mans he he designed these cars to race at Le Mans and had to uh, build enough of them to sell them to the public to qualify the car to be able to race it. The body on the car is made by Vignali in Italy. It has a 1958 Chrysler Hemi engine in it. It uses uh, Kelsey Hayes wire wheels that were popular on Chryslers in the early 50s. Uh, the, the workmanship on the car is just extraordinary and uh, we're thrilled to have it, especially because these cars were made in West Palm Beach, so it has a Florida connection. <laughs>